Um, so I'm Benedict Jumwani and I just wanted to explain the basic rationale behind ontology and X. Um, the accurate combination of dynamic real-time topology and 3D analytics will allow us to, to, to bring real-time service uh, assurance forward and make an important innovation. So, so literally what we mean is being able to, to do analytics across the end-to-end -end network whilst knowing every single dependency within the physical network along any particular service path. And it's captured in this diagram. And what I'm going to just explain in this video, in, in, you know, in, in, uh, in, in short order, is, is how we do that and, and, and why it's important. Uh, how do we do it? So, so, and, and why? First of all, the classical approach to trying to build up a, an end-to-end -end topology across everything is, is, is it's just basically difficult. Um, it involves uh, uh, classical integration, large transformations, and difficult and lengthy, lengthy projects. Um, the transformations that the Federation associated with that are always going to drive a lot of additional cost and high cost of ownership. And, and that approach just, just it, it makes it very difficult to deal with data quality and data cleansing. So, at Ontology, what we've done and now at Exo is something a bit different. The, the first thing is that we have taken the centerpiece of the classical approach and moved beyond it. So, in, in a, in a, in a, in a classical system, you would have had a database in the middle. We've innovated uh, in order to, to change that data structure to a graph data storage, uh, 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 graph database. Um, and, and, and that has allowed us to, to speed up, make agile, and make dynamic the process of building a topology. And I'll, I'll step through the steps very quickly with you now. The first thing is that because a graph data store and, and the ones that we now use at, at, at Exo um, doesn't have a schema, uh, is the advantage of that is you can load up practically any data source from the network systems, and there will be lots of network systems that describe the network, so you need to be fast with that. You'll be able to load up those sources very quickly into the graph database. The second piece of the important innovation is rather than having to define schemas and structures up front, which takes months and months of time, you can determine the relationships and the types of data that you have in those underlying systems by using relatively simple rules-based approach and an inference uh, engine which allows you to, to infer and derive the relationships between the different elements in the topology. And that keeps happening. Now that keeps running forward and stays accurate with the network. The, the, the final piece of the innovation is you know how much of the network is linking up, so you get an end end topology, and you crucially know what's not linking up so you can immediately go back and fix it. And, and those innovations, wrapping that up in a single iterative process means you can quickly, with your customer, get to an answer of a real-time dynamic topology in, in a fraction of the effort and, and cost that, that, that people have come to expect. On top of that end-to-end -end network of uh, intelligence from, from, from Expo, and you've got a real-time service insurance capability that, that, that people have been wanting for a long time. Uh, this is my favorite part. So we've talked about you know, uh, what our goal is, and we've talked about the problem, and, and here is, in, 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 in reality is the solution. This, we're looking now at, at Extract, the Expo product, and, and what Extract is doing is it is taking in topology from ontology, so it knows what to what to measure, and it is and it is mapping out the the, the ten worst uh, mobile endpoints by doing active verification. So always maintaining an understanding of what actually isn't working, what is working in your network. Now. If you presented this manually to, 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 to uh, uh, some network operations people, they'd go and find the problem and fix it. They'd go one by one through, through, through these, these results, and, and they, they, they'd have to go to another system to understand you know, uh, the topology that it goes over. They, it would take them maybe weeks to figure out a root cause problem for that. With, um, with ontology and XO put together, we know where the symptoms of degradation and problems are in the network, and we know where they sit on the network, we send that into Ontology, so, so now we're not going to do weeks of effort, we're going to click that button. We're going to come straight into Ontology's common cause analysis engine and do topological analysis of the, of the few, there are, there are perhaps 600,000 nodes in this network, 
but only nine of them could be shared by these three um, uh, endpoints in the network that are suffering uh, a, a, a problem. And although we sent in a whole bunch of, of 2G and 3G cells that, that were suffering a problem, the system has determined that you need at least three root causes to explain them all. And you wouldn't have known that right off the bat either. So you've gone from 600,000 nodes to like nine, and what's more, the system is telling you that 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 that, that you can you can narrow down those nine by doing active uh, probing or by doing uh, by looking at the performance stats to find the single uh, root cause problem which is causing this this degradation that's hurting your customers. So we've gone from you know a process that takes a group of people in a war room a couple of weeks to a process with maybe you know an hours analysis allows you to go out and start to fix that now and 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 that that's automated services. That's it.